one, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Hello and happy Mother's Day. Right now, we're going to be looking at Amelia Watson, who was recently just doxxed. At least her face was doxxed. Uh, by someone who is in the VTuber community. It's not this person here that I'm talking about. This is the person who showed it to us, the person who let us know about the situation. But the person who did it is this person specifically with this specific uh, post here. They went and doxed Amelia Watson, along with trying to bring hate, bring uh, bad things to other VTubers by saying that they said the N-word and saying that they were saying racist stuff, you know, saying that type of stuff. Um, that is never good. That is never good for anybody to mention. Uh, but this person is starting things off with that document, the bad stuff, the bad information coming out. And I am not going to be playing this video because I have a firm stance on not doxing people. So, person says, starting off the vid with the docs is not cool, dude. My guy, at least one of these, the blue girls, not even saying the N-word. They're saying, nye ga urusai. Because one of the guy, the girls says, nye as a vocal tick. She's literally just saying she's being noisy. Entitled baby shares slander video. You're not going to succeed in policing words, fam. You're, this is, this person is, is supposedly someone who is like, it was, I think, a Cottontail VA hater or some other hater out there. Says, your crown, sir. Perfectly okay with this. Those look like uh, fun VTubers. If you're upset about this, you're part of the problem. You're really nothing else to say on that. W video, brother. Up, I'm up. Uh, virtual potato. This person here, pretty rich clout chase, especially when you're the same borough as Jeffrey Epstein. You have no room to talk. People really aren't liking this guy. Saying, you know, disgusting, basically. Monkey, know your place, you filthy monkey. Oh, God. That is not something that she said. She never said that. She never... Well, if she said that, that's absolutely out of context. Holy crap. That is out of context. People are putting these things out of context, but let's continue with, with what Kudurinji said about this whole situation. He says, a video full of randomly picked examples of VTubers saying the N-word with no distinction in what circumstances and context was uttered. The cherry on top is him revealing Amelia Watson's face and try tying her to Hololive VTuber identity. Censored my screenshot for obvious reasons. This is the docs that I'm talking about. This is really bad for a VTuber because VTubers are VTubers for a reason. We want our privacy. We want our anonymity. We maybe have had bad experiences as IRL VTubers, uh, IRL tubers, and uh, we don't want that, you know, negativity hitting us. So we are VTubers who can be as wild and as crazy as we want in this persona that we have, this kayfabe that we have. Coincidentally, the VTuber who capitalized on Silvervale's misery is there too celebrating, and that's the one that says, your crown, sir, that it, they, they were part of the harassment campaign against Silvervale during the Hogwarts legacy thing. Guy really wanted to kick a hornet's nest for no reason. Hope the impending lawsuit is worth it. Yeah, because Hololive takes these things very seriously. I've reported this to Hololive. I'm pretty sure other people were reported to Hololive too using their uh, online um, form. This is definitely not good. You should never dox anybody. The funny part is the Aurora, the Aurora commented on the video as well. The good news is that Aurora is at least having medical issues is their karma. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, I don't think that's good either, honestly. Not wishing medical issues on anybody. For context, you believe justifies non-black tubers using the N-word. Oh God, this guy just trying to, to do that. The most he offers is a bad attitude, equally eye-bleeding avatar and humor, and pre-kindergarten tier criticism and knowledge of the field he spent three years in. Why are you a 42-year-old a uh, blank from Alabama, pretending to be an eight-year-old Japanese girl is also telling. Uh, doxing, so he's not getting it, is, he's going to get hit himself covered by Cover Corp, yeah. Of course, this is who will be there too. Intent on usage, different languages. What is when I do some rage bait and pin up PL real face to current work face and talent? Videos, absolute banger, great job. Whole lot of trash in these replies. Crimbo and silly Sylvie Spark. So some people are going to, of course, be loving it. Some people are going to be hating it. Like I showed you guys, that's the one that was there. Sea Dog's coattail rider decided to share it as well. So I'm just going to leave this here. Ivanito apparently is Sea Dog VA's coattail rider. Um, this Ivanito apparently has some haters. I don't feel one way or the other. Don't know the guy well enough. Don't know the guy's uh, community well enough. Don't know the content he creates well enough for me to actually make a comment on this. And it says, I despise Ivanito a lot. It, I haven't seen him do actual content outside of Rage Bait and inserting himself into all the drama he can. Surprise people never picked up on Evan being a grifter. I thought it was super obvious from the very start. Like he's bumped shoulders with people in this video. And it's not like he never knew about these clips. Connors, blah, blah, wouldn't have the, the blah to uh, do this to Nyaners if you were in the same video. I knew this was a snake. Uh, in fairness, he did delete and apologize for it. So there's that. 
I mean, if you delete and apologize for it, that's different. Like I said, there is that. Some people, of course, on the hate train will be too little too late. But if you're showing that you're going to change and he doesn't do that again, then guess what? He deserves a second chance, as does everybody. Everyone deserves a second chance if they can prove that they are trying to make at least some type of change and have admitted their faults as he seems to be doing. And here goes the final one. Fine with anyone saying it in a non-R context. People give meaning to words through their actions and intentions. Nobody owns words, and they certainly don't always have the same meaning depending on the user. A lot of people, including the rage baiter, would have you think otherwise, but I don't subscribe to that mentality that's very often used by terminally online people to harass others. Yes, the words are given value and they're given importance by you if you are the one who's receiving it, but... I am kind of a person who thinks that, yes, a lot of words have history and just to be kind to others. Don't use them because of the history they have. It's not your fault that they have that history. It's not your fault that those words are so hurtful and so uh, demeaning. But, you know, if you know that they are, just try not to use them. Just being a good human being, not being an a-hole. That's my rule. Uh, you, can, you can't make this S up and they go over here. It says, you being a Native American has nothing to do with black culture, but if you're Native, why do you keep calling me a foreigner? We can live in the same place. Why did I call you a foreigner? You called me a tourist. Same difference. Oh, uh, wow. You're a dumb tourist is a VTuber slang for someone who thinks they know about VTubing, but know nothing about it. You basically have stated you know nothing about VTubing. Yeah. VTuber tourist, a tourist in the VTubing sphere means you are someone who's inserting yourself into the VTubing sphere without knowing jack squat about it, not even having any experience in it. That's what they call tourists. And of course, it is a word to kind of get underneath people's skin so I can understand not liking the use of it. They would have hated Mel Brooks if he released Blazing Saddles. Oh, a lot of those things. Blazing Saddles, uh, a lot of those like 80s and 90s movies. Holy crap, they would have destroyed these people. The guy who posted the video deleted the post, by the way. Uh, the whole point was to retake ownership and take the power from it. Well, congrats. It was accomplished 10, 20 years ago. It's largely meaningless, but now everyone has to be offended by everything in order to have it happen. George Carlin would not be able to work today as well. So yeah, just, I know, don't be an a-hole. Uh, this is a huge issue that's happening with Amelia Watson. The fact that she was just doxxed by a VTuber, by an actual VTuber, just doxxed her with her face and connected it to her Hololive uh, persona. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to show the video. I'm not going to give them more attention than they deserve. But this is kind of a warning sign of things that may come later on. Uh, there are a lot of people, including myself, that have people who want to dox you. And it is very scary to have to deal with this. Little public service announcement on today about not uh, forcing people to collab, not, you know, pushing people to collab. People want Doki and Sayu to collab. People want Doki and Mint to collab. You know, just follow the Hololive Holostars etiquette. Let them decide if they're going to collab. Do not try to force anybody else there. Sayu may have, may have be talking with Doki, may not be talking with Doki, uh, but they all, including Sayu, said do not force anyone else to try to collab with them. Just be a good member of the community and don't be rude to anyone else yeah exactly of course everyone wants to love uh on doki and mint who have absolutely never interacted before of course uh commented on this vtuber wrestling event which they have absolutely never done before of course and of course the two that know that so it's not being done certainly because they didn't think of that but they have their own reasons and maybe they want each other to have their own separate time as they used to be co-workers and now you know they have no reason to dislike each other of course but they can decide maybe they don't want drama maybe they want each other to to grow in their own spaces first for a bit and then maybe collab later on or maybe it's just not in the cards for them to collab that's fine too it doesn't mean they hate each other it just means that there's a moment where they maybe just don't want to collab they later take his curse doki bird has sponsorships mint has non-energy friendships and dream opportunities that she wants to do sayu has a reputation of vindication that she wants to do too given the larger than expected levels of imparse their ptsd inflicted on these three the road to healing will, will no doubt be a long one it'll be a winding road so give them a chance for to get rid of the niji ptsd to find their own path in whatever they want to do so yeah <clears throat> Don't try to force them to do anything that you want them to do. So that's mainly what I want to push for this. Let Sayu, let Doki, let Mint, let all of them go on their own path and enjoy themselves. We have one where someone is just kind of positing a question, opinion, whatever you want to call it. I feel like they're speculating too much about how they aren't interacting. I kind of get it. Not that I helped Quinn and Mint immediately and Usan was already settled, but why not Doki? 
Uh, they may not have been in the same circles. It could very well be. I mean, they're Niji Sanji, but Niji Sanji was huge. Niji EN was still pretty big. They may not have just run in the same circles, even in Niji EN, so they may not have known each other. That's the main thing. Not publicly blacklisted by Vishojo, livers are complicated friendships, and fans think, hey, uh, doesn't this person you're interacting with have beef with your friend? Doki's also friends with Zen and Usan, so there's there's friendships moving around there. But it could very well be Mata, Matara and Kuro don't have that friendship with them. Um, no one... I don't think they had a falling out. Even if they did, there were, it's not going to be so bad that they're not going to talk to each other. You know, I don't think they're going to go that far when it comes to that. Uh, the go-to explanation of maybe is talking private, but yeah, they're going to talk about it. Well, they had bad experiences with Niji and trauma, so they may just decide to go private with a lot of the things that they're going to do. That could very well be true as well. Kudos to Usan for maintaining friendships with people they have barely anything in common with. Like Matara said, people lose contact over time and they aren't in the same workplace anymore. Also, they are all busy, especially Doki. Doki is freaking super busy right now. Did no one remember that Doki said in the stream that certain people wanted to join, but some couldn't because of scheduling? Feels perfectly understandable reason people got important things to do in priority. Matara and Doki are very different people. Doki is a gamer introvert. Matara is a social butterfly who li lives, loves to talk. Uh, Selene and Nina weren't friends at all. That is evident in their talk in Nina's graduation stream. They basically spell it out. Even if they had bad blood, they don't really care. I don't really care. Each can live their life free of each other. Uh, Adoki is above at all now. She doesn't need any of their help. She's succeeding, but it's not like she doesn't need any of your help, like negatively. It's just that she doesn't, um, like if she, she doesn't have a reason to interact with them in, you know, for, you know, growing sake or anything like that. She would have a reason just for, you know, being herself and enjoying herself and that type of stuff. But yeah, people are just pushing too much on the parasocial side for collabs and that can get annoying and uh, frustrating for the talents involved. So of course, just give them some leeway and let them decide who it's going to be. Uh, I think they're mostly busy handling things. As for Exnijis, their relationship is more or less neutral. Um, personal take, Doki's therapist probably told her to take it slow and avoid subjects of stress. Yeah, because remember, she had a really, 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 really big situation uh, where she attempted twice. Uh, Usan is definitely the one who's least related to any of that. All the others have some baggage. So yeah, they may have to be dealing with their baggage and just let them be in peace. We start a little bit of independent VTuber stuff here with Bree getting a car wrap made by a fan. She's like, look, look, the cookie box is back, baby. Uh, Poo Poo Magoo says, Poo Poo Magoo says, it looks so good and I'm happy to have my Oshi back on my car. It's a Natasha. That's what they're called. They're, these these things are, are were very popular in Japan. I don't know if they still are popular in Japan, but Itasha is what it's called when you have uh, like anime waifus, anime people on your, your car like that, a wrap like that. So she got her own Itasha, which is awesome. Uh, you know, the closer ones, I think she believed I was on a stream where she was talking about this. Um, that is a very, very cute Itasha on there. Um, she was very happy to get that, of course. Uh, hi there. Notice you've been submitted under fan content uh, to ensure your submission is good. Blah, blah, blah. It's an automated response. And here is the the actual one here with, you know, the actual pictures, the actual person who did it to make sure that it has proof. There's a source. It's always good to have sources here. But I'm very glad that Bree got this for herself. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out, Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.